Hook, dude. I totally thought you'd bail. Not this guy, guy. Well, if it isn't the hired help. Funny. How'd you mouth breathers score a morning off? We didn't. We just kept Bummer extra busy. Broms. Oh. Bummer smells like fish. Phew. I thought it was me again. Wait a second. This isn't shampoo. Roms! Ah! My golf cart! Where's my golf cart? <gasps> Roms! <laughs> so punked! And the best part is, Bummer will have no idea who... Reaper Broseph, my office, now! Remember, guy, deny everything. This isn't my first time, dude. Okay, you two. <laughs> Childish pranks are one thing, but this is beyond the pale! You can't prove it was us. Look, I was something of a prankster myself back in the day, so I can appreciate such a great gag. Thank you. But the pranks stop now. We have an EIP coming tomorrow. Don't you mean VIP? No, EIP, an extremely important person. And if you bozos make me look bad while he's here, oh, heads will roll. Heads will roll. Are we clear? Crystal, no pranking, no problem. Ah, it's been 14 hours. I gotta prank Bummer, like now. Oh, I don't feel good. I think I've got ingramnia. Ah. Can you two keep it down? Some of us need our beauty sleep. Seriously, guys, I have a double shift tomorrow and you know how grumpy I get without sleep. What are you guys doing? Thinking about how to prank Bummer again. But I thought you signed a truce. Dude, asking a Grom not to pull pranks is like asking the sun to not rise, the wave to not break, the beaver tail to not be crazy delicious! Free. Sorry, like tuna without fish. Sweet, then count me in. You? But you actually, like, listen to Bummer. Yeah, but you guys are doing some next-level stuff here. If it means getting in on something as brilliant as your upside-down office bit, I'm in. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, guy. Go team! Sorry, but the whale costume is kind of obvious, bruh. Maybe next time. Oh, sure. Yeah, I understand. Okay, now where were we? Coming up with a prank for Bummer. No, I mean, where were we sitting? My butt already worn the cushions the way I like them. Good morning, employee. Oh, is it still morning if you never went to sleep? Wow, great, super. Uh, I'll have the usual. One hard-boiled egg. Righty-ho. And let's turn that frown upside down, okay? Well, that was fast. Good thing, too. I am starving. Bubblegum? In 
instant classic. <laughs> Come on, I've never seen anyone Ralph an egg before. Hey, there. That's it. Let it all out. <laughs> Hold it! For what it's worth, we didn't mean for you to actually eat the egg. Yeah, we kind of just meant for you to suck the egg. <laughs> Okay, you little scamps. You got me good with that one. But with the EIP coming, I thought we had an agreement. EIP? But there's no EIP in the reservation log. Okay, look. The resort is flat broke. The EIP, this fellow Frump, is a top secret investor and Mr. Ridgemount needs his money to keep us open. You see, boys, a corporation has certain legal fiscal balance sheets and we're upon... Okay, we give. No more pranks. Just, just stop talking business, dude. Hey, I was just getting into it. At last, my plan to end Grom shenanigans once and for all is in motion. But first, I'll need a sidekick. A minion, if you will. Whom should I choose? My calendar's clear. Enemy approaching! Fire battle! <gasps> Could you please stop that? You're making a mess. My drink is warm. <sighs> I'll get some ice. I just cleaned that. Don't yell at me, drink monkey. Mrs. Marvin. Boys will be boys. If they do that again, boys will be girls if you catch my drift. You can't talk to us like that. You're Canadian. Excuse me? Make yourself useful for a change and fetch us breakfast. I'm Canadian, she says. The nerve. I hear you, sister. That family is nasty to the T. Check out the porcelain present they left me. Mm. Ew! Ew, gross! And look at their room. These people are pigs. I know, and they treat me like I'm their maid or something. You are their maid. I know, but still, a little common courtesy. Ah, so nasty! Okay, somebody ought to stick it to these people. Hmm, stick it to them, huh? What? I couldn't hear you over the flush. Oh, nothing. So wait. He actually ate the egg? Totally. It was awesome. Triple five. The egg you put in your shorts? What part of this are we not explaining right No, no, I get it. What I don't get is why Bummer let you off so easy. Because he knew he got beat by the best. Yeah! <laughs> Triple five! Too many? Anyway, maybe Bummer is using reverse psychology to make you think you got off easy. Reverse what? Tricking you into a false sense of security until blam, he gets his revenge when you least expect it. Nah, Bummer's not smart enough to do that, is he? Who knows? But you might want to watch your backs for a while. <laughs> They're crazy, right? Oh, yeah. What you got there? My good mood charm. Looks valuable. Where'd you get it? The Marvin's room. What? what? You said someone should stick it to them, so I did. I'm sticking it to the man and the woman and the kids. Emma, spitting in drinks is one thing, but stealing from a guest? Ew! No, no. Okay, not stealing, just borrowing. It's like my secret prank. Every time they're mean, I'll know I've got one up on them. Some girls shop, some girls swipe collectible coinage. Whatever gets you through the day, sister. Well, just make sure you put it back before they check out. Ugh, but the Marvins never check out. <sighs> Fine, but only if they tip me before they leave. <laughs> Any sign? No bummer. Is that him? Dude, that's a beach umbrella. All right, let's move! Where have you guys been? We left you at the beach two hours ago. Had to sneak back here. Couldn't take a chance on Bummer getting the upper hand. Paranoid. She's right, we can't go on like this. We need a preemptive strike. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. In English, please. He means we have to get Bummer before he gets us, bruh. Broseph, you're a genius. Okay, we're gonna need the prank to end all pranks. Ideas? I got one, but it's big, yo. Real big. All hands on deck big. Forget it. Come on, Finn. You're not buck, buck, buck chicken, are ya? <sighs> okay, fine. But 
Why do you always do that when you're trying to get me to help you? I stick with what works. Yo, Lo! Count me out. Even though Bummer stuck you with sanitizing all the diaper stations? Fine, but only if we get this done before Daddy's investor arrives. Done! Who else can we get? Uh, where's Emma? I think she's busy being Emma. Okay, so I guess that's everyone then. Okay, we need a rubber hose, a plunger, and a sandwich. What's the sandwich for? Lunch. I'm starving, bruh. This is gonna be epic! Bro, you set up the kiddie pool full of squid? You will know it. <gasps> Johnny front desk guy, you took care of the golf cart? Check. And Reed, you changed the signs on Bummer's inspection route? Oh, yeah! Bummer, prepare for splashdown! <laughs> Damn, whoa, you Chiquita's all set? Uh, I don't know about this. Here he comes! <laughs> No brakes! No wheel! Awesome! He overshot the kiddie pool. By like 50 meters. Think he's okay? Ah, he's fine. Can I change my answer? He's gone! Bummer's gone! <laughs> I think we creamed Bob. <laughs> he was taken from us much too soon. So much work unfinished. So many employees unfired. Bummer? Gone? That's impossible. Haven't you done enough? Dudes, what are we gonna do? We have to call someone, obviously. Woo -hoo! The extremely important person is here. Big tips, big tips. Here I come, here I come. Wait! If the extremely important person finds out we offed the manager, there's no way he'll invest in Daddy's hotel. <gasps> It'll have to close down. <gasps> I'll have to move to our hotel in Toronto. And we'll all lose our jobs. <laughs> okay, then. We keep Bummer's condition under wraps, but just until this investor guy leaves. No problem. All we have to do is act like everything's cool. <laughs> More water? Are you sure it's not frozen? We've been waiting since the Ice Age. Good one, sir. And where's our food? Poor Todd needs to eat. He has a tapeworm. Coming right up. And what's wrong with you, little guy? Get lost. Mark's in trouble because he lost something very important. We were looking for it all night. Oh, what a shame. Tell you what. I'll bring you an extra breadstick, okay? Works like a charm. Mr. Frump, I presume? Welcome to... Right you are, kiddo. But don't let these beach duds fool you. Underneath, I'm all business, man. I'll just call Mr. Ridgemount and... Hold the phone, son. I don't invest in anything until I get a look-see under the hood first. I'd like your manager to give me a personal hands-on tour of this place. Uh, Bummer, I mean, Mr. Bomber, isn't really up to that right now. All righty then, I'll just take my giant checkbook and go home. Wait, Mr. Bomber would be happy to give you a tour. He would? Excellent. Tell him to meet me at the pool in 10 minutes and tell him not to keep me waiting. Toronto people, I'm desperate. Lo, what are we gonna do when Mr. Frump finds out Bummer is you know. Maybe he doesn't have to find out. Groms, I think I have an idea. Nothing good has ever come after that sentence. This is not going to work. This is totally going to work. This is 31 flavors of wrong. Shh, here comes from. Mr. Bomber, darn glad to meet you. So I understand you're going to show me why this place deserves my money, eh? <laughs> I kid, I kid. But seriously, I want to experience everything, and I want you there with me every step of the way. Help me really get a feel for this place before I open my wallet. All right, are you ready? Let's go. Whoa, dude sure likes to talk. Lucky for us, since Bummer's kind of speechless right now. Here goes nothing. Is it something I can see? Is it something I can touch? Is it something I can feel?
Think we fooled them? I hope so. That was totally exhausting. Bomber, that was incredible. I haven't had that much fun since I liquidated my gross assets. <laughs> so, I guess that means you'll help Mr. Richmount get out of debt? Of course! Right after Bomber and I hammer out the details alone. Bomber, you're office in one hour. Just the two of us. Well, we almost pulled it off. <laughs> so close and yet so far. Man, Bummer's packed on some serious poundage. Ow! <sighs> oh, it's got to be here somewhere. What are you looking for? <sighs> My mom sent me a new board leash, but I can't find it anywhere. Gee, it just disappeared? Yeah, it, like it just got up and walked away. Wow, you must be really upset. Oh, I've been looking for it all day. Oh. I'm hoping you can connect the dots here so I don't have to. Okay, okay, I'll give the Marvins their stupid coin back, but they so don't deserve it. Atta girl. Now, where did I put it? Uh-oh, it's gotta be here somewhere! What if we run some fishing line through the air duct and tie it to his arms? Face it, Reef, it's over. Once Frump gets five seconds alone with Bummer, he's gonna know something's up. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some hard time for this one. <laughs> Can't take anymore! Reef must surf! Oh, that's sad, yo. What's sad? Is that's the third time this week. <laughs> And all because of one stupid little prank. Guess the only thing to do now is call the authorities. Wait! Five more minutes. Maybe Frump will think it was an accident and still give Daddy the money. I must hand it to you, Bomber. I wish my employees were as loyal as yours, but if you'll excuse us... Sure you don't want us to stay? Uh, very sure. Okay, then. Bye-bye! Oh! You should have never taken that coin. What were you thinking, Emma? Excuse me, but aren't you Emma? Mrs. Marvin! Okay, I admit it. I took the coin from your room, but only because it made me feel better after you were so mean to me. <gasps> Please don't send me to jail! Dear, I think you have heat stroke. No, no heat stroke. That thing you were looking for all night, I took it. And I'm sorry. Mark's retainer? We found that this morning. Retainer? Weren't you missing a big, shiny gold coin with a maple leaf on one side and a rat on the other? Rat? Oh, you must mean chipmunk. That's a chippy <sighs> cheese token. The boys have jars full of those things. But you are right about us being grumpy guesses. Oh, Mr. Marvin is a little constipated lately. But don't worry, he just ate some prunes, so... I think we'll all be a lot nicer in about an hour. Here's a little something for your trouble. <gasps> hey, you done with my detector yet? Hmm? Should be any... <laughs> second. Now can I call the police? Sure. Maybe they'll go easier on us during the trial. Quick! Somebody call somebody! Something's wrong with Bummer! Did he say... Bummer? That was fast. I haven't even dialed yet. Okay, I know we went too far and somebody croaked, but please don't tell my mom. We so sure didn't mean it. Don't arrest us. No more pranking. We swear! And gotcha! <laughs> Zombie! <sighs> Consider yourself pranked! No way! Bummer pranked us? Yes, I did. And I made you promise to never prank again. <laughs> what has two thumbs and is the new master prankster at Surfer's Paradise Resort Hotel and Spa? <gasps> Me? That's who? Shh. You'll freak out the EIP. Oh, him? Snack Shack? Shack? 
Traitor, how could you team up with Bummer like that? He gave me an all-access pass to the buffet. That's oh, a good that's deal. Oh, that's a pretty good deal, actually. But how did you even know we were going to prank you? Bet you wish you included me now. Yeah! High five! What did Bummer promise you? A high five. Zombie! Please don't eat my brain! <sighs> Can't believe we got out pranked. And by Bummer! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, just that Bummer made you guys promise not to prank again. I know. That cuts out like half the stuff I'm good at. Maybe. But he didn't make us girls promise not to prank again. <laughs> <laughs>